It's not surprising that we found the future fascinating. After all, we're all going there. This is Googleplex, and here is what will happen in 10 billion years from now. 100 years from now. In 2100, the human economic system has collapsed and the size of the economy is now a small fraction of what it had been at the beginning of the 21st century. Earth continues to heat up, possibly by as much as 10.8 degrees Fahrenheit from today's average temperature. Human population is down to 3 billion and falling. The rise in sea level caused by global warming has forced the abandonment of a large number of coastal cities. 1,000 years from now Thanks to ongoing human evolution, yes, we're still evolving, people of the year 3000 might be 7-foot tall giants who can live for 120 years, according to some projections. 10,000 years from now Planet Earth is still reeling from the wave of global warming that had started many thousands of years before. The atmosphere still contains large amounts of greenhouse gases generated by human activity and by the release of methane hydrates. The continents are mostly deserts. 100,000 years from now There are about 20 known supervolcanoes on Earth, including a famous one under Yellowstone, and together they average a major eruption once every 100,000 years or so. At least one has probably erupted by now, releasing up to 100 cubic miles of magma, causing widespread death and destruction. One million years from now Planet-sized computers dominate the local group. Humanity's descendants are a Type 3 civilization on the Kardashev scale. Betelgeuse is a supernova. A number of alien intelligences have been contacted by now, in addition, ancient ruins have been undercovered on some worlds, indicating advanced civilizations that somehow failed or destroyed themselves in the distant past. 10 million years from now Estimated time for full recovery of biodiversity after a potential Holocene extinction, if it were on the scale of the five previous major extinction events. Phobos is ripped apart by Mars gravity. In the tropical forests, the descendants of raccoons who crossed the Bering Land Bridge during the Great Ice Age are proliferating rapidly, expanding into empty ecological niches once filled by the larger primates. In another 30 million years or so, their descendants will come down from the trees. 100 million years from now Earth will likely have been hit by an asteroid as big as the one that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. The rings of Saturn have disappeared. The Sun's luminosity has increased by 1%. 1, 1 billion years from now, Earth is becoming too hot to support liquid water. The Sun's luminosity has increased by 10%, causing Earth's surface temperatures to reach an average of 47 degrees Celsius. As the seas and oceans begin to evaporate, the atmosphere is becoming laden with water vapor creating an intense greenhouse effect. Mars is actually becoming more habitable during this time. Only near the North and South Poles does vegetation flourish, and with it, the Earth's last intelligent species. Five billion years from now. Having used up its hydrogen supply, the Sun grows into a red giant with a radius 200 times larger than today. The solar system's innermost planets are destroyed. 10 billion years from now, the Sun has completed its red giant stage and may have destroyed the Earth. It's a white dwarf now, shrinking to nearly half of its current mass. Meanwhile, rising surface temperatures on Saturn's moon Titan might be able to support life as we know it. It's always wise to look ahead, but difficult to look further than you can see. What do you think about the future? Share your predictions in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to always stay with Googleplex.